sporty, uh, sporty elegance, the concept that Fujimori-san uh, mentioned, uh, was intended, of course, to, to go into all parts of the car. And so from an exterior point of view, um, the changes that we made were designed to enhance uh, both, of these, both of these aspects, right? Making the car look, look lower and wider, uh, and then also making the car look a lot more premium and a lot more uh, like, uh, like a luxury car and like an actor. So of course, here's, um, here's a picture of the, the, the outgoing car uh, with the new car, and hopefully you pick up right away on, on a lot of the changes. Hopefully it does strike you as, as more sporty and more elegant. Um, so the big changes that we made, um, other than, of course, the headlights, which I'll actually talk a little bit more about in just a second, um, really had to do, again, with, with, with basically pulling the eye kind of downwards and outwards. And so the top line of the grille is actually uh, lowered a little bit um, to give it kind of a lower look. And uh, it's got those large kind of intake shapes uh, on, the, uh, on the bumper, quite aggressive in their styling and, and pushed out, pushed low to, again, draw the eye down. And, and um, specifically on the July headlights, and of course, you know, this is this is a technology that we introduced on the MDX, on the TLX, and and with um, with RDX and ILX getting it for this model year, we will now have on all of our all of our vehicles. Um, uh, and one of the things that we're quite proud of too is that we are applying this 100%. It's not an expensive option as it is on on, on almost all of our competitors. Um, and so this this version of the July is actually an evolution. So typically in the past, the, the five LED um, headlights and high beam uh, bulbs also served as the daytime running lights, and we've added now a dedicated uh, LED daytime running light strip underneath it, which you can kind of see there, which I'm sure you saw in the car last night. And in addition, um, LED turn signals, which provide another strip uh, above the headlights. And this is, this is kind of the next evolution of the design, and, and you'll see this uh, going forward. In terms of the uh, rear of the car, uh, very similar and complementary changes uh, uh, to the car. Uh, so again, the same kind of idea of bringing the, uh, bringing the eye kind of uh, down and wider, and uh, of course, LED technology in the rear. And of course, the A-Spec um, vehicle that we have here, and, and, and the one that I'm personally most excited about, uh, is an all-new package, and, and again, try, intended to really get to the heart of, 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 of younger customers looking for something a little sporty, or even just young at heart customers um, uh, who also are kind of looking for that same kind of, you know, kind of ideal-sized uh, little sort of uh, uh, compact luxury car. Um, and, and, and it's funny, this is actually one where, again, it was certainly intended for millennials, but as we talked to various people, this seems to be the one that, that all the all the guys in our company who are, are maybe a little older and looking for, don't really care about having a big car, but want something fun and it's sporty, this is what everybody seems to want. And so on the outside, um, some of the major uh, features, uh, the 18 inch wheels, which is one size bigger, uh, some aero kit items, spoiler, side sills, et cetera, and fog lights.